Hello, Libra. Welcome to your general energy reading for the month of April of 2022. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't, yeah? We're going to dive right into this. We're going to start with getting you some messages from the Animal Spirit Guides, and then we're going to get into your general spread using the Golden Art Nouveau Tarot, yeah? Let's get into this, Libra, and see what messages we've got for you for the month of April. Oh, sidebar, um, <laughs> you may hear some of my friends in the background. The whole island of Puerto Rico has lost power and we're kind of having a blackout situation. So they're up, some of them are up here using power and Wi-Fi, blah, 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 and, and working. So you might hear they're in the background. Don't worry about it. We're all just vibing here, having a good time. All right, let's go. Let's get into this, Libra, and see what we've got for you. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Libras, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved. Please make me a clear and accurate channel for the energies, the messages, the guidances, the guidance, and what you think or feel Libra needs to hear at this time for the month of April of 2022. Excellent, Libra. Let's get into this here. We're going to start with the Animal Spirit Guides. I'm going to give this five shuffles for you. We'll see what we've got. This is one. What's going on for Libra? Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node for the month of April 2022. This is two. Three. Four. Libra, um... I'm seeing a lot of purple energy for you, Libra. And I really, really feel like, <clears throat> I really feel like you're kind of sitting in a high priestess energy. Um, uh, some of you may have recently opened up to a certain level of psychic awareness, uh, psychic ability. Um, I, I, I'm literally seeing the high priestess for you. And I feel like instead of you communicating with the universe and getting downloads, I feel like you're sitting in that energy of the high priestess, um, being really high vibrational for some of you. Yes, you did open up recently to certain higher awarenesses, certain psychic abilities. Um, and I feel like for some of you here, you're kind of sitting in this energy, just kind of taking it all in, um, learning how to be discerning, learning how to use this new energy or this, this higher awareness for others of you, you're just sitting in the high priestess energy. Um, and, to, and I'm sorry, Libra, but I don't know how else to describe it other than just sitting in this high, high priestess energy, um, awareness. Okay, you're, uh, so I guess, I guess what's really happening here is um, you're focusing in some new ways or you're gaining a certain understanding through this higher awareness. For some of you, you're learning how to balance this energy or how to use this, how to work with this higher awareness now that's opening up for you. This is really beautiful. This is really beautiful. All right, let's see what's going on. What messages do we have for Libra for the month of April of 22? Ooh, look at this. Okay, you have Hawk. There's that higher awareness. And wow, look at this, Libra. Hawk and owl. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. Okay, overall energy at the bottom of the deck is crocodile. I am going to take that. Um, okay, but see, this is beautiful. So, Libra, both of these birds, the hawk and the owl, represent higher awareness. In the hawk, I see you really being in a higher vibrational state, really able to like soar way high in the sky. Your perception, okay, your physical perception, uh, your sight, your the, your sense of sound, okay, your sense of touch and feeling, all of that is heightened at the moment. And then the owl represents the higher spiritual wisdom, higher spiritual awareness there, okay? Um, so you're combining the energies of these two of these two animals with the the hawk really being able to fly high and get a great perspective of things while still having a keen sense of sight and smell and all that. 
what with and then the owl representing the psychic awareness the spiritual awareness the wisdom involved with that so both and so this is why i really feel like for many of you librans you are kind of just resting in this energy right now you're getting your bearings you're 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 acclimating you are calibrating you're working on understanding how to perceive of these energies and then the crocodile would represent the lower vibrational, maybe predatory energies that you are able to see much clearer now, okay? I definitely feel like there's an an energy here, Libra, of you settling into this energy and learning how to perceive uh, some of the predators or the low vibrational stuff, very much devilish, toxic energies. You're learning how to, or understanding how to better perceive them, what uh, better to perceive certain circumstances. It's like you're in this period right now of settling into this higher awareness and learning how to use it and that's really beautiful <laughs> i absolutely love that for you okay let's move forward here i'm going to get into the tarot um we're going to get into your freestyle spread and we'll see what the rest of the messages are for you for the month of april yeah five shuffles here libra for my libra in sun moon rising and north node this is one this is two for some of you in this higher awareness you're starting to perceive of some of the people around you that uh, really have not been good for you. This is three. Um, and for some of you, that's you're kind of taking that personally uh, because you, you know, you've maybe been bending over backwards for these people that, and that's kind of a Libran thing. Don't get me wrong. And it's nothing out of the ordinary for you. Um, don't take it too personally, Libra. Shoot. This is three. I've lost count. Let's go with three. <laughs> or maybe that's four. Let's just say that was four. Um, and this is five. Don't take it too personally, Libra. Because it's just a matter of practicing this higher awareness. And for many of those, many of you, this feels kind of relieving because you are able to perceive of these energies much better. I'm even hearing much quicker. Okay. And so that's going to set you up for victory in the near future. That's beautiful. Just really focus on um, settling into this higher awareness and higher perceptive ability instead of really taking too personal some of the things that you may be realizing at this time. All right. Let's cut the deck here for you. All right. Overall energy for you, Libra. The first card out is the devil. I told you, devilish energies. Bam, right there. Underneath the devil, you do have the queen of wands. And underneath the queen of wands is the two of pentacles to the empress. Excellent. Venus energy, okay, which does represent you. You are ruled by Venus, Libra. Um, unconditional love. I feel like, so this higher awareness for many of you is is coming from the uh, level of the divine feminine within you being healed and or coming online. For some of you, if you are more, if you resonate more with the feminine side of things, this would be an element of the divine feminine really being healed within you that's allowing her to stand up. For others of you that are more on the masculine side, again, yes, this is an element of the divine feminine having been healed or going through a healing process for you, but it's also a level of um, the, the feminine or the divine feminine coming forward more. And that's what's actually opening you up to this more psychic ability, psychic awareness, or what, uh, whatever you want to call it, a greater sense of empathy. Some of you may actually be opening up to empath empathy and empathic um abilities and all that which is really beautiful now with your overall energy being the devil the queen of wands and the two of pentacles there is a lot of um there are a lot of things that may have been holding you back in the past that have been keeping you from getting into this divine alignment or just this greater alignment within yourself the queen of wands um, may have been holding you back in terms of feeling confident in yourself, feeling even confident in holding the alignment of certain things that you have wanted, okay? Um, I feel like uh, for others of you, or maybe just for all of you or whomever this resonates for, this is a balancing act between the devil or certain devilish energies, certain toxic situations, toxic friendships, toxic associations, maybe even toxic substances or whatnot, whatever. Uh, there is a balancing act between that and the queen of wands, okay? Um, you're, and, I, and, I, and what I'm getting with this energy here, Libra, it's not like you're trying to um, balance them out in terms of like uh, get them to fit together. What I'm more seeing is with this two of pentacles energy, you're, it's like you're sifting through the, the, the muck. 
Okay, like let's say I don't know if any of you are familiar with um, gold pan, uh, like like pan panning for gold, where you go to like a riverbank and you scoop up a bunch of dirt into like a a, a specific type of sifter and you and you sift through you sift through that you sift through the rocks and the rubble until you find gold. Well, that's kind of what I feel like is happening here for you with this two of pentacles energy, but it's not gold that you're looking for. It's divine alignment that you're looking for the queen of wands. So you're actively, as you settle more into this divine alignment, this spiritual awareness, this higher spiritual ability, um, activation, this could even feel like a, a twin flame activation for some of you, or just a spiritual activation. As you're going through this balancing energy with the two of pentacles, it's like whatever you're sifting away, all of the rock and the rubble that you're sifting away is the devilish energies, situations, the toxicity, the toxic uh, associations and whatnot, whatever. And what you're left with in terms of this would be the queen of wands energy. So your divine alignment, that's the gold here. Okay. Spiritual awareness and all that kind of stuff. This is, re this is really cool for you, Libra. All right. Um, and then the, the empress energy here also represents the, um, it represents the unconditionally loving energy and nurturing nurturing energy of the universe that's also helping you to, you know, make this balancing act, yeah? For some of you, this is specifically having to do with uh, your personal alignment in terms of interpersonal relationships, but that feels heavily on the platonic side, not necessarily the romantic side. I don't feel like you've really gotten to the romantic side yet, um, if this is this part of the reading is resonating for you, it's more an energy of use your awareness shifting and you sifting through your friendships and associations, seeing which ones works for you, which ones are toxic, which ones you can let go of. Okay, beautiful. Let's get into the first half of your reading Libra, which is going to look at the past energies leading up to the current moment that we find ourselves in. Yes. First set of surrounding energies for you, Libra, you have the Page of Pentacles, a fresh new start. Now, very interesting. It's similar for Taurus energy, um, which I did do their reading right before yours. But for Taurus, there was a very conscious effort. There was a conscious decision made to start a new path or to go in and to release, to let certain things go. For you, Libra, this feels like a conscious effort to step onto a new path. A, a, a conscious effort or a decision that was made to start a new path, um, which was catalyzed by a certain divine alignment or spiritual awareness that you woke up into. And you started to recognize, hey, some need, some things need to change here. So I definitely feel like with this page of pentacles energy, you took the initiative, Libra, and started and decided that you were going to walk a new path. Excellent. You are going to start something new for yourself. Okay. You're going to, you're, yes. Your page of pentacles is coupled with the nine of cups. Why? Because you want it to be happier. Okay. For some of you, this was a conscious effort to, um, to, to move forward towards or to focus on more of what actually makes you happy, what fulfills you on a, a mundane level. And you decided to walk a path and or start building towards that. Excellent. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Libra, in the first half of your reading. There you go. There's that building process, the Knight of Pentacles. Slowly but surely moving forward to build on certain situations. Um, for, okay, for some of you, what I'm getting from this Nine of Cups energy is there was a conscious realization of something that made you happy in ways that you never even recognized before. It was a specific, it, it may, it, and it may have just been, you know, a spe specific uh, activity or an event or something that came into your life. It doesn't even feel like it was something that um, had any sort of long lasting longevity in your life. It feels like it was something that was fleeting, you know, for a hot second, it was there, but then it was gone. But in it uh, emerging into your life, you decided that you wanted to be happy like that. You wanted to feel happiness like that again. And that's what got you started on this path of, of awakening and also moving forward towards that. How can I be happy like this again? And so you started building towards that. You started moving towards that. That's beautiful. The Knight of Pentacles is coupled with the Four of Cups. Recognizing where things are not making you happy. Um, okay. <laughs> 
This is this feels like it was a situation that completely changed your life, Libra. It's one of those situations where you, once you wake up or once you see something, you can't go back to sleep or you can't unsee it. So for some of you, this might have actually been really troubling. Um, although I, I don't, and, and for, I am picking up an energy of. You know, why would you do this to me, universe? You completely shattered my whole view of everything. But ultimately, it was a good thing. And I feel like ultimately there is a, a, a decent um, a level of excitement here because you had you have some sort of frame of mind or some sort of understanding to move forward towards towards something that is actually making you way more happy way happier or has the potential to make you way happier now that you've become aware of it or that thing specifically or now that you've become aware of this level of bliss and or happiness and or contentment that you are like you were never aware of before so while it might have been for a split second it might have been like why did you show me this universe only for it only for you to like rip it away from me or only for it to go away like why couldn't this last forever but then you started to realize wait a second I can go after things like this now and be happier. And it's even to the point where some of you are in such a higher state of awareness that you recognize the potential of any other things or any other experiences that you might have while you're pursuing this level of happiness that has really opened the floodgates for you of potential and possibilities. That is really awesome. So that kind of outweighs any sort of um, uh, sorrow that whatever it was that whatever catalyst this was that we're talking about here may have left because it was fleeting, but there's so much more to explore now that you have this higher state of awareness and that's excellent. And it really feels like it, you're willing to do that. Beautiful. I just heard you're working in tandem with the universe. That's exactly why, what we designed anyway. So there you go. Boop. Excellent. Your challenge, Libra, in terms of the past leading up to the current energies, bam, the magician. What I'm getting with the magician specifically, though, Libra, and this is very similar to Taurus's energy. What I'm getting here is that your challenge was having a reason to manifest, having a reason to go towards whatever it is you're going towards now. For some of you, you needed an actual legit reason or a good reason for it. OK, because for some of you, it may ha include letting some things go for others of you. You just needed to find the inspiration. OK, you didn't necessarily it's not so much like Taurus, like Taurus needed a, a legit good reason to get up and start moving towards something or to get up and change. For some of you, it kind of was that OK, or that was helpful for others of you and maybe the vast majority of you. It was just that you needed something to inspire you or you needed a frame of mind or you needed an example of what it was that was out there that you could model your efforts towards manifestation around. OK. Excellent. The, the magician is coupled with the Ten of Wands. Wow. Okay. 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 So for some of you, you were carrying a bunch of burdens, a bunch of things that you didn't need, that you didn't need to carry. And whatever this catalyst was, it was enough for you to lay down those burdens and to start manifesting something new. Like I said, for some of you, for a little, for a small amount of you, you did need a good reason, okay? Because maybe you were carrying a lot of responsibilities for others that you didn't need to be carrying. But for others of you, for again, for the vast majority, you just needed a frame of mind or something to focus on or some sort of example of what it was you could do to manifest. For some of you, this Ten of Wands energy represents a bunch of different things that you may have been pursuing or trying to manifest from that were not working for you. And I'm hearing we're, we're running you ragged or like wearing your, it was like, it was wearing your energy down. It was too many different options, too many, too many burners going of different potential energies. But then something came through that gave you a central focus that allowed you to drop all those other things and focus on what truly makes you happy, okay? And that's another example of why you just needed a, an understanding or a frame of mind or an example of what it was that you could go for so that you could then model your manifestation abilities toward around that. That makes a lot of sense. Excellent, Libra. Closing message or potential outcome for you, Libra, in the first half of your reading here. The Ace of Pentacles, there you go. 
There you go. All right. So for some of you, let, I want to go back to that two of pentacles. That's the overall energy. For some of you, you were weighing options. Okay. You were trying to figure it out. That could also be representative of this 10 of wands energy. And thus you were able to, to settle on one. And now you've got your seed of opportunity that you can plant. Now you've got your new pathway ahead that you can develop ace of pentacles for others of you. It was literally a situation where you were sifting through the energies until you found your nugget of gold. There it is right there, Libra. I love that. Ace of pentacles is coupled with the Queen of Cups. Whatever this is for you, Libra, it holds a hell of a lot of emotional value for you. And that's excellent. And I do want to say it, that that's a good reason or that's a... I guess what Spirit just said, what I just heard Spirit say was that was a good example or a good reason for you to... Wait, shoot, I lost it now. It was a good reason for this to take so long. That's what I'm hearing. All right. Um, for some of you, it was a long and arduous process. Uh, a lot of sifting through, a lot of a lot of changing ideas, or or you know going through the options, you know weighing your options, going through and all that kind of stuff. But whatever it was that you discovered, okay, on this pathway of understanding what it truly has more value for you. Whatever it was that you discovered really does hold a great amount of emotional weight or emotional value for you. For others of you, this queen, well, maybe for most of you, but I am getting another message here. This queen of cups actually does represent that psychic ability. Okay. Um, so whatever catalyzed for you or whatever happened for you here, Libra, it helped you get into greater tune with your higher awareness, with your psychic abilities, with your empathic abilities. And, and keep in mind, guys, everybody has those abilities, okay? So something catalyzed for you here, something happened for you here where you consciously decided to step on a new path towards greater happiness and emotional fulfillment and wish fulfillment also with that nine of cups. But ultimately that took you to a place where you have a greater psychic awareness, a greater, greater emotional awareness, a greater empathic awareness that, that is helping you start a brand new path altogether. That's really excellent, Libra. I love this for you. All right, Libra, let's get into the second half of your reading. Yes. Yeah? So the second half is going to look at the current energies off into the future. So what could be coming on down the pipeline for you, what you can expect in the near future. Keep in mind, guys, this is a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Yeah. Excellent. First set of surrounding energies for you, Libra, in the second half of your reading, you've got the Ace of Cups. Beautiful. Uh, this is ready to start your new path, ready to nurture whatever it is. I'm getting a strong, I'm hearing nurturance with the Ace of Cups. So I feel like you have, are, <clears throat> you have planted your seed or you've gotten started on whatever it is you're doing here, represented by this Ace of Pentacles. And now with the Ace of Cups, you're in that nurturing phase. You're, you're watering your seeds, you water, watering your plants and you're ready to move forward. Excellent. Ace of Cups is coupled with the Emperor. That is so crazy. Look at this, Libra. You have the Empress here at the bottom of the deck, and now you have the Emperor, all right? So what the Emperor is representing with that Ace of Cups, this is the, um, the, the restraints, the restraints, the confinement, the boundaries that are necessary for you to really start growing and nurturing whatever it is you're meant to be growing here or whatever it is you set out on to develop or to grow whatever path you're moving on right now. The Ace of Cups represents the nurturing waters, also kind of similar to what the, the Empress would represent. The Emperor represents the commitment and the boundaries Okay, so whatever the, the, the commitment to the path and the boundaries that are set around it so that it can flourish and grow. That is really excellent energy for you, Libra. Okay, second set of surrounding energies for you in the second half of your reading. You've got the King of Wands now. Look at this. You have the Emperor and the Empress. You have the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. So this is definitely an energy for somebody who has... Um, who, who has come, there's something about the divine feminine or just feminine energies that are coming online for you or that are just emerging here. You started with the more feminine aspects 
uh, being receptive, ex receiving the downloads, receiving the understandings, settling into this new higher emotional or psychic awareness. And now moving forward, you are taking action from that place. Okay, this is really awesome. The King of Wands is coupled with the Two of Swords. It's not a bad thing, Libra, because I feel like you're really staying, it, you're keeping your alignment in check is what I'm hearing. Okay, you're not really allowing any sort of external circumstances to really knock you out of this alignment that you're in. That's really good. Okay, I do want to caution you though, uh, the King of Wands coupled with this Two of Swords, first of all, the Swords suit represents air um, and oxygen fuels fire. So uh, I do want to caution some of you of becoming too rigid or too or having too strong of a level of blinders on, okay? Don't discount the, the, the information or the guidance that can come from the people around you. Um, that is often what's, that is often how spirit or the universe, you know, brings us certain information. But also, don't keep yourself in this position of not allowing anything or anyone to knock you out of your alignment. Excellent. It's just, this two of swords energy with it representing air and how air or oxygen fuels fire, which is represented by that king of wands energy. Uh, you could get a bit, you could get to a point where you're feeling yourself too much or you're getting a little overconfident. Again, allow the universe to direct you and to guide you, but don't allow, don't really allow anybody to knock you off your path. If there is some sort of guidance that comes forward towards you as you move forward here, and it does feel like it resonates for you, then take it into account. Or if it does feel like it could help you along your path, then take it into account. But don't allow your ego to completely reject everything, okay? Excellent. Moving forward, your challenge here, Libra, in the second half of your reading is the fool taking that leap of faith. I don't really feel like this is so challenging, though. So what's next for you, what's upcoming for you is really diving headfirst into this situation or into this new path for yourself. Okay, what I am hearing for some of you is feeling prepared. Um... And I guess what the universe is saying here for that energy of like feeling prepared, when the opportunities come forward towards you, just take them. Don't worry so much about, well, am I really truly prepared for this? Is there anything else that I need to do? Don't worry about that. Take the leap of faith because if the opportunity is being presented to you at this time, Libra, then you're ready for it. Even if you don't necessarily feel like you're prepared, even if you feel like there could be some more that you could learn or some more that you could understand, allow yourself to learn on the job or allow yourself to learn on the path. I'm not saying... You know, don't try to prepare as much as you can, but don't allow yourself to get too caught up in the energies of, I don't feel like I'm prepared enough. If the opportunity has come forward for you, take it, okay? Allow yourself to be, to be trained or to be, you know, molded or shaped or get even more prepared as you move forward with it, yes? The uh, fool is coupled with the 10 of swords, Libra. You're ready. You are ready. You are absolutely ready or you will be ready. You will be prepared once the opportunity presents itself. Like this is just an example, but this just popped into my head. So this might resonate for some of you. Let's say you're moving to a new apartment or something. You're getting out of a toxic relationship and you're moving out. And there's something, there's an apartment that just just lines up out of nowhere and it drops into your lap and you have the ability or the opportunity to take it to sign the lease and whatnot, whatever. Even if you're saying to yourself, I'm not fully prepared for this, I don't know financially how I'm going to really make this work, blah, blah, blah. If it's being presented to you, Libra, I what I'm hearing the universe say, take it. Sign that lease, go on that trip, do that thing. You're, if, it, if, it, if it magically aligns for you like that, and it just drops into your lap, take it because you're ready and allow the universe to work out all the kinks or work out the rest of it as time goes on, okay? Closing message or potential outcome for you, Libra, in the second half of your reading, you've got the two of wands, a choice. But Libra, this choice kind of represents in 
your trajectory. What I'm hearing is what to do next. So with all of this energy here, Ace of Cups, the, the Emperor, the King of Wands, the Two of Swords, these are your surrounding energies. This is your determination. This is your ability to nurture. This is your commitment to whatever is new. Okay, you are prepared for this. So the closing message or potential outcome here for this two of wands is you saying to yourself what to do next, what path to take next. I also feel like this is that moment where you're going to be choosing to either to stay on the old path or to take the new one. But for the, for the vast majority of you, I feel like you're taking the new one. This feels like a moment where you're recognizing that you're about to leave the old paradigm behind and move forward towards the next. Be, allow yourself to be very consciously aware of that. If you need to take a moment to stop and really allow yourself to recognize and be aware, oh my God, I'm about to move on to the next path, take that moment because the conscious awareness is going to be very, very helpful for you, yeah? In setting you up for future success and preparing you for the, the, the goals ahead. Two of Wands is coupled with, bam, the Six of Wands. Oh my God, that is excellent, Libra. This... Honestly, Libra, this really feels like that moment where you consciously decide or you consciously become aware of the fact that you're moving to a brand new paradigm. Okay, so allow yourself to really revel in that conscious awareness because it's it's going to be a beautiful moment for you. All right. This is that moment where you recognize, oh, my God, I did it. I made it. I, I, I've completed the karmic cycles. I've completed certain lessons like I. It really feels like the moment that you either decide or you recognize that the decision that you made is the right one. Excellent, Libra. All right, let's close this out. I want to get you some closing oracle guidance from the Oracle of the Seven Energies, yeah? All right, here we go, Libra. Five shuffles. This is one. Two. For my Libras. Closing message for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. This is three. Four. And five. Closing Oracle Guidance for my Librans, please. Spirit. Here we go. Interesting. <laughs> All right, Libra. All right, cool. You have two cards here, and it's funny because this is the same card that came out for Taurus. You have card number 14, beautiful uncaging, but you also have card number 13, feeling the world. So let's start with card number 13 here. All right. Your key uh, concepts with this card are sensitivity to the feelings of others. Awareness of the whole world and a broader perception, empathy, overload, and overwhelm. But this, see, that's exactly what we were talking about here in the very beginning of your reading. Empathy reminds you that you are not alone. It is a beautiful capacity to feel the connectivity all, all around you, giving you a profound sense of belonging, a broader experience of being part of the larger world. That said, it can also be overwhelming especially when you don't know where you end and the rest of the world begins. Now is the time to be clear about your boundaries. Ask yourself whose energy you've tuned into. You might find it's not even yours. If you are feeling quote unquote off or drained when you're with someone, they may be siphoning your energy. In such an instance, this connection is not good for you, no matter how charismatic the person is or how attracted to them you feel. Do not, make, do not mistake codependency for closeness or allow your boundaries to become too porous. Trust your instincts and take care of you. Practice saying no. Avoid the temptation to turn off and go numb. Instead, be present. Somewhere in the middle of this feeling spectrum, quote unquote, is where the magic is. You're also being asked now to be aware of how your words and actions may affect others. While it's not your job to determine how someone will respond to you, discernment is necessary. Be firm yet kind. Keep in mind that people pleasing will not give you what you truly need. That said, your empathy is beautiful and important. It just has to be balanced in order for you to access its wondrous gifts. 
Today, celebrate the beauty of your sensitivity and that of others. Excellent, Libra. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So then let's read this last one. Card number 14, Beautiful Uncaging. Key concepts here are the prison of guilt, a need for self-inventory, rigorous honesty, accountability, and making amends. At this time, you're being called to assess where guilt is playing a part in your life, recognize how it's affecting you and others, and address it so you can release yourself from its grip. Guilt is a powerful emotional state capable of transforming difficult situations. It keeps you accountable for your actions when you've done something that causes harm. However, it can also feed a self-sabotaging cycle that fosters codependency and a distorted sense of personal power. Self-blame can lead to behaviors that perpetuate low self-worth. Have you done or said something for which you need to make amends? Have you disregarded a boundary or broken a promise? Guilt can make you aware of potential ways you have given injury and show you how to redress the transgression. When you sincerely admit you were wrong and begin the process to fix it, this is an act of accountability, responsibility, and liberation. Take a moment now to consider when you have harmed others or yourself. This knowledge will free you from the story you tell about it so you are able to connect with truthful remorse. Now is the time for rigorous honesty as you take a self-inventory with a neutral state of mind. A good question to ask yourself now is why the guilt is there. You might be asking, I'm sorry, you might be taking on a burden that is not even yours to carry. Pay attention, take action, and uncage yourself from the prison of your own making. Excellent, Libra. So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. If you guys would like a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below where you will find a list of the readings that I offer as well as my email address. Shoot me an email letting me know you're interested and I will be more than happy to get you all hooked up. Also, I highly recommend that you check us out on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations for more monthly content with me that you will not necessarily find uh, here on YouTube, including somewhat daily readings. Also, you can get you have the potential to get discounts, 10 or 20 percent discounts on your personal readings. There's also even a tier in which you get one personal reading with me throughout the month for the month. Uh, with your subscription. So check us out, patreon.com slash divine conversations. The link to that can be found in the description box below. And as always, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. With that said, Libra, I hope you have a fantastic month and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of May. Yes? Beautimus. <laughs> Bye.